Well, I'm, I think I'm not going to vlog anymore that much. Don't have enough saving. I just thought, let me show you a little bit of the wealthy side of town. Because I had a beer, I forgot we are in Turkey. The law is a little bit different, so... I don't know the tolerant rules when it comes to alcohol in Turkey, so... commuter rail or suburban rail now yeah I'm getting closer to where I want to go to to my bus stay time still have many more hours but the earlier the better now it's going to be the biggest challenge bus so I wonder where this bus is traveling can be a nice thing but it can be stressful so when the Bostanchi it's called in some suburb of Istanbul very far from the city center I could actually walk but let me look for a bus I just want to train how to use these buses it's going a couple of minutes it looks like I'm in some wealthy suburb of Istanbul <coughs> and I got a cough I'm all right but this is this looks more like a wealthy part of town the Asian side and wow I'm failing to walk now but I've eaten actually I'm fit now things look a little bit different high raised buildings it's kind of more like a gated community <clears throat> I think something similar it's gated so funny enough I've made it to the suburbs in the suburban part of Istanbul and from the downtown to everywhere so I've got pretty much around the city and it's the final round to be in Istanbul I don't know what the name of this part of town is Kipless, Kipless Sokak is the bus stop <coughs> so well I still have got time mind the car this is actually a spontaneous vlog I really don't feel like vlogging but I thought since I'm in another part of town let's just vlog we've been getting lots of parts of towns of Istanbul mega metropole very big from touristy areas hipster areas dangerous areas isn't it amazing and there's a dog i'll just take a walk there for a while have a lot of time I'm just taking a walk until yeah until my bus will be active I have to walk this way it's still being constructed here
they're upgrading the road camera it was just shaking a little bit I don't know if it's better now well the way I'm walking also not walking that good now I've got heavy things with me <coughs> high buildings yeah I have to mind this car not that I scratch yep managed to walk through Maybe some of these are hotels. Yeah, suburbs, residential areas. When I was in the train, actually, we also passed places where they're also like big houses, you know, villa like houses. So the more outside. The more outside of town you go, the bigger houses you see, higher apartments. Very interesting. Yep. So let's continue. Well, one more thing. The Asian side is more the wealthy side, actually. So I have to cross the road, I have to mind the car. back in Asia again so I'm in Asia for the second time all those buildings amazing some are still under construction techno trust maybe some telecom or something Well, I think this is not very much of a touristy area. It's more like maybe offices and residential. It's what I could, uh, it's what I could rather say. <sighs> yeah. Universal certification. Well, I'm, I think I'm not going to vlog anymore that much don't have enough saving I just thought let me show you a little bit of the wealthy side of town which is a little bit different I think if you live here it will be a little bit expensive okay so that was it with Istanbul actually I'm ending it here now so yeah if you like the video subscribe to the channel peace I can't show my peace finger anymore my hands are full things are heavy yo so I'm out so I have uh, I have one hour left with myself met some nice people I chilled the way I met these nice people is there were children bagging one girl was bagging gave the little girl five lira later the little girl just came back with with her other sisters and brothers yeah and then of course little it's just little kids they started harassing me but you know I, I know how to play with children and then yeah one of the guys just said yeah you know once you give them like five lira they want more so later he said hey come join us so i chilled with them i chilled with them so we had a nice chat a long chat talking about life and everything and me that i'm solo traveling and then i got approached by the yeah by one of the people working in that cafe because i had a beer i forgot we're in turkey the law is a little bit different so 
I don't know the tolerant rules when it comes to alcohol in Turkey so well he showed me on the phone that uh, through his phone translator you know under Turkish Turkish law with beer so yeah just put it away so I'm out here finishing it off well I think you can drink beer in the open actually but I think in certain parts it's not tolerant tolerated at that moment I was just not I was unaware that by the way it's alcohol and I'm in Turkey but it has nothing to do like Turkey is a Islamic country even in Christian countries uh, in certain places it's not allowed to alcohol consumption is not allowed in the open or even if you went like to the USA you know many countries Christian or you know many Christian countries so it has nothing to do with religion they have laws here so you know when it comes to alcohol laws I don't know I mean in Denmark you can't walk around with a beer in England I don't know France I don't know but I don't know if I've seen people I, I think they've changed the law or something because I've seen other people walk with beer on the streets in Istanbul but anyway I'm just finishing it off throw away the can and then yeah and then take my time wait for the bus to come and then off to Antalya so I'm just waiting till the bus comes and then yeah maybe let's see either I'll still be in Istanbul or see you in Antalya good night